Well, welcome back to another Dino Days video. As you can see, a black FN2 in the house with a great big spoiler on the back of it. We love, a, we do love a, a Fugan spoiler. Um, this one is back again. We've we've tuned it before, but it's now had a Tegua 70 mil and Tegua 400 cell sports cat welded into it. So we'll see if we make any gains at all from the exhaust or whether the sports cat itself has restricted that, and we end up around the same place as we were last time. But Let's get tuning and let's find out. Okay, so black FA2, and as I said at the start of the video, it's had some mods today. It's had an exhaust system with a Tegua 70, a Tegua 400 cell cat in it. Now, our mandate was to get it through an MOT, so that's the cat that he chose. Our Richard welded it in, and then obviously, because we mapped it before with a D cat, we needed to make sure that timing and fueling was yeah, correct. I mean, basically, it had a custom exhaust on it with some like inch and three quarter uh, tail parts on it which to be fair when we looked at this car originally thought that might obviously be the reason it was a little bit down on power yeah um and we suggested i'll take it with 70 mil we wanted to do that anyway uh because it had been sort of like a front section of the original exhaust welded to that piece to make it all work it was a bit a bit, a bit mackerel a bit terrible so we did take it with 70 mil unfortunately the only do a two and a quarter inch 400 cell sports cat uh, so what we've done is we've sort of basically modified that and made it 70 mil so it was nice flowing with the exhaust it wasn't going to be a restriction i still feel like this car isn't making the power that i would expect it to make now at this point mm. because something me and tan have learned with these fn2s is and it's been very very rare that it's happened but we've we've ended up with three i think in total including this one since we started this, mapping since we started, started so mapping over, yeah over a particularly lengthy period yeah i've had three that will not make power yeah it's like there's a restriction there's something going on and they just don't make power and like one of them we only had for the day so we didn't get to really go trying to but we tried to make a few changes and we made a bit of power so we're sort of happy and he left with that car we had a second one that didn't make power and we did everything at that oh car. absolutely like, we changed like, everything well ch checked changed Pulled parts off of the car, swapped them over, trying to see if it was to, trying to get to the bottom of it. Never did get to the bottom of that car. Um, it just didn't want to make power. And this car is almost displaying those symptoms again, that it doesn't want to make power. This has got a programmable fuel injection fault that keeps popping up on the dash every now and again. Customer says, he's, obviously, it's pretty random. It just pops up now and again. We've looked at it and it says there's a relay under the dashboard that can go faulty. So I don't know if that's actually part it's of what the problem is It's something to here. do with the starter motor and a signal 
that tells the car that it's running that it's now running yeah um it's a relay and it seems to be a common problem on the diesel i don't know what the bearing of that is but the now bearing in mind just because that's what it is on the diesel doesn't necessarily mean it's what it no. is on this but if you search the the mm. code and, and you do you and you because it's something we've not seen before so this car also as we talked about before did have a flash map on this ecu originally didn't it uh, and it's not a code we've ever seen on one of these. No. So I don't know if when they flashed it before, they've damaged it in some way. I'm not saying they have. I'm just saying, is it possible they've damaged it in some way? Basically, I feel like it warrants more investigation it at this point. Does. So maybe it's worth putting a, a second-hand ECU in it and, and obviously going again and putting the file on it and seeing what happens uh, and just see if, we, if that alleviates the problem. Uh, something is slightly going on somewhere, and I'm not 100% sure what that is. No, but you can only tune what you're presented with. Of course, the car's here for the day. We've done his exhaust and we've mapped it. And we made a little bit of power. And the, and the car's happy, so... Yeah, it, it can, drives well. It drive, yeah. uh, The customer said it drives better than it ever has. Mm. So that's our review from the last time we mapped it. But, you know, Richard, he wants to make power. and um, That's the disappointing part, isn't it? I, I would I would hope this, because it's on a standard airbox, I'd hope this car makes sort of 215 to maybe 220, and that's where I'd expect it to be. We're sort of... Yeah, around 10 brake horsepower down from that. I think we finished at 206. So, a little bit, like I say, I'm just personally a little bit disappointed. I'm sure the there is a thing, though, it. there, isn't there? That, yeah, okay, the car's done 88,000 miles, but you don't know what those 88,000 miles are like. You don't know who maintained it. You don't know if the chain's been done, if the chain's been done correctly. You, there's so many things going but this on is that what you I'm don't saying. know. That's what I'm saying. This car warrants further investigation. Mm. So, check things like is the timing chain on correctly is there a problem there move on to the next thing let's check vtex solenoid filters and vtc filters and make sure they're clean and if they've been maintained it's like you know you just got to go through those things haven't you you know what i mean yeah but that's we can't do that it is what it is can't do another... that a, i can't do that in a mapping slot can you no it is what it is it's another job completed so let's go look at the graph let's look at the graph let's do it so there we go bit difficult this one but red light is as she came in blue line is as she leaves uh so basically that's our final figure after installing uh the exhaust with the tegua uh 400 cell cat um not lost any power so we're happy there so richard's done his job well uh we're up a little bit of power at peak and uh, i think that's our mandate completed this one will go through an mot now lovely lovely which is exactly what he wanted so thanks for sticking around to the end of the video, guys. Like and subscribe and all that jazz. And we'll see you on the next one, won't we, Rich? Will we will indeed. What's next, mate? Oh, another FX. Wait, it was pretty fast.